Land Care is a program where we work with community organizations, small businesses, and the city of Philadelphia to clean and green 12,000 vacant lots around the city and turn those into business development and employment opportunity for people and businesses. The reality is quite intuitive. If you think about living next to or walking past a lot that's unmaintained, uh, dumped on, filled with weeds versus one that is clean and green, fenced and welcoming to you, it's a major difference and it really transforms community life. Penn and Wharton have been critical partners in our work for more than a decade. Research done by Dr. Wachter and others helped make the case for greening interventions from the beginning. This particular vacant lot greening initiative kind of provides us with a really nice, almost experimental sort of situation for evaluating what the impact of small changes in a neighborhood can have on various different types of neighborhood outcomes. Susan and I got involved. Our first foray together in that has been looking at real estate value. We can look at vacant lots that have been greened as kind of our treatment group, and then we can take vacant lots in the city that you know are similar but have not been greened as kind of a control comparison. A main part of our methodology is to use kind of advanced statistical modeling like regression modeling as well as data collection for the surrounding context to try and adjust for any potential differences there would be. From our research, it appears that putting in lots like this will raise the surrounding property values within 1,000 feet by 4.3%, which is actually significant. And it only costs $1,000 or so to install one of these lots, and upkeep it is a few hundred dollars a year. So the benefits are so clear, and when you're here, you can see the benefits in terms of this is a community asset. When we started doing the Philadelphia Land Care Program, I wasn't a believer of it. I didn't think it was going to work and I didn't think it was uh, sustainable. The fact is that when I saw how it was helping the neighborhood and how the people grew attached to it, you know, it was like I was all in. You know, seeing horses grazing on a lot, kids playing football on a lot, this simple treatment transforms, you know, a neighborhood and gives people an opportunity to have something that they didn't have we're not coming in their neighborhood for like gentrification or, you know, we're trying to do things that they don't want us to do. If they want us there, we will work there. The economic value that we measure from an economics perspective, it's very significant, it's 4%. But 4% is not significant large enough nor widespread enough to spark displacement. You, know, you can tell someone about the program, but when you actually take them on a tour and they actually see the work in progress, that's a whole different story. We thank, you know, the University of Penn and Wharton for the studies that they've done for this program. To nerds like us, it's just so, it's hysterical fun, actually, because we just don't know what the data are going to tell us. The vacant lots throughout the city are almost kind of wealth or substrate for a lot of little parks and, and pop-up gardens and stuff like that and the actual kind of cost involved in this particular type of urban intervention are relatively inexpensive but still seem to reap relatively substantial benefits. When it's ugly you don't see a potential but when you see a green vacant lot it tells a total different story. That's what the land care is about. I'm really proud of the impact we've created but I really think as a city and region we've only tapped just just tap the potential of these to make changes in our neighborhoods.